I'm right behind you. Is that an Ender Pearl? Yes. Heathens. <laughs> it's probably why I don't. I don't. <laughs> 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 My nipples are a little uh, pronounced. Just a, a little, little bit. Irritation there. Yeah, a little chafage. <laughs> <laughs> this diamond armor is kind of rubbing up. Oh, God. <laughs>everybody it's huck here and guess who we have with us today we have the newbie hi ultron what's just, up every time i'm like we're the big you know ultron what is it like voltron yeah voltron that's actually where it comes from that's awesome people think it's like ultron from like marvel but it's not no people no <laughs> get it right get, get it right the first time <laughs> Or get out, unsub. <laughs> <laughs> and you have like two subscribers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and done. It's okay. Kicked off time have, shot. You no, you have time shot. We don't care. We don't <laughs> care. Uh, anyways, so I wanted. Well, I've been working on ideas for the dark room and everything because the battle boob and and everything inspired me. So I want to show you the pretty much done right now dark room. I. And uh, I'm not crouching all the way there. I don't even care about this. <laughs> Dude, Edson's <laughs> been back for like two days. You see how high? It- no, it's ridiculous. He's what at like 400,000 something. People have no lives. Uh, That's what it is. Kids and their non-families. And their non-full-time jobs. <laughs> and their toys. <laughs> and their games. <laughs> and they're going to be hoodlums one of these days. And they'll kill people. And selling drugs. Because they're, sh- <laughs> they're shifting and trying to... <laughs> <laughs> take that you, you kids <laughs> the de-evolution of society based on crouch walking now i'm crouch walking <laughs> uh no i i no i won't do it <laughs> so pretty much i don't live too far from you okay just a, a step and a hop over the uh, battle boob once i can actually <laughs> get over the battle boob just past and the- past the uh, island of uh cows the bovine island the bovine island we're actually a little uh, little skimpy on cows nowadays. Yeah. I don't know what happened to them. They're when I joined fake. the server and Asia was like, so this is Cow Island. And I was like, wow. Kind of cows. Kind of dead around here. <laughs> this party died. We do have Jake here, so. That's true. <laughs> so don't forget that. If something goes wrong, it's probably his fault. Yeah. <laughs> then we have Chicken Island around the uh, very cool the racetrack. And then Swimming. My pond, I do love this pond. It's very nice. Apparently, it's the lucky pond. And if you need to know, that my portal is actually right there. Okay. Water. Wynn hates it. Poet <laughs> wouldn't admit it, but he would say the same thing. <laughs> They're like, why would you put a portal underwater? And I'm like, why not? <laughs> portal underwater racist people. Yeah. I don't I know mean- why I said racist, but. <laughs> <laughs> and then my transparent barn. I love it. I'm seriously actually thinking about replacing all the wood with glass. <laughs> now, is this the one that Jake burned Jake, down yes. under Poet's uh, encouragement? I, yeah, I'm still a little iffy on our admin on that decision right there. <laughs> like, I never saw the episode. I just saw it in chat, and I was like, man. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is a non-griefing server, and then my barn. <laughs> and then Exhibit A. <laughs> exhibit A, Jake. <laughs> this is why Jake needs to be banned from that <laughs> I love how, like, serious you are about it. I'm pretty sure when I joined, when I read the terms of service, this was a (laughs) non-griefing server, but I could have been mistaken. Apparently, when Liam left, maybe things changed. I don't know. (laughs) They didn't enclose any information to me. So, this is pretty much just my work area, I guess. It's very, very empty, very open. For Yep, I I like open areas. For a ready mind. I like to run around, actually. Yeah, like some space, more room for activities. <gasps> Cookie Monster. This is my donor place. Oh, nice. I need to. And I should probably if you put go one of in, those up. If you go in, there's cookies. Mm. Cookies? Cookies. Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, I, I haven't put uh, signs up, but I think this is. Is this Patreon? No, this is a uh, donor. This is the donations, and then the other side's Patreon. Nice. So it's pretty cool. I was pretty happy with it. it. Took me a while to actually do something on the server. So, yeah, 
<laughs> I'm a procrastinator. That's pretty cool. I now, should make it. We should make a guild of uh, procrastinations. There you go. I procrastination. Like, I just I come off as a procrastinator, but really it's just because I have like a full time job. I can't do these like crazy huge builds in one episode, and then and, people just unsubscribe for me because I'm, I'm I don't move fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I can't, I can't think of builds. Like it'll take yeah. me a day just to think of a good build, and then build it, and then blah blah blah, <laughs> blah 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 blah. I got my smelter back there. Beautiful. Actually, it actually works pretty well. Um, nice. and then this is the dark room. Oh boy, it is actually very intimidating. If you oh look gosh, it. yeah, that's terrifying. You want to go in? <laughs> More than ever. Go for it. Actually, I need to put... Hang on. I'm going to put my stuff in. I can go in there. <laughs> now, Endermen are kind of a pain in the butt in here. Okay. So all you got to do is... you can't see them? Well, actually, there is... Uh, the spiders become very... Ugh! And don't worry about if the creepers blow up. All right. Everything should be fine. Oh, even the glass? The glass, I I can't do anything about the glass. Yeah. hey uh Ah! Don't hit me. I've only lost half a heart of damage. So far, I'm doing all right. Oh, I haven't done it. No, nope, I'm, I'm, I'm still full, but stupid. Oh, I don't have any arrows. I forgot about that. There we go. But yeah, this is the dark room. You could start a bat collection. <laughs> Just kill everything but bats and let them spawn in. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I, if I name tag a bat. So I saw... Do you know who Queen of Minecraft is? Nope. Uh... She's she's like a Twitch streamer. She's one of my mods. She, I think in one of her episodes, she named a bat and then like it disappeared. I think that what? was her. What? Like not not right as she named it, but it despawned uh, regardless of whether she named it or not. I have a I have a great idea. Hang on, let me see. Let me see if I have one. If I have a name tag, I don't remember if I have a name tag or not. I do. I have one, and this is just this is all. This is this. Yeah, I can do this. Watch this gonna take some thought process all right ready all right all right give me a bat you bat you look good name no get no what <laughs> it won't let me really it won't let me is it because you're flying can you like set somewhere it really won't let me that's weird huh because you're able to do mob, you know mobs yeah you would think ah Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know what I got to do. I got to name the tag first. <laughs> shh, shh. Welcome to Huck's tutorial on how to name a bat. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> I've done this once, and, you know, I don't remember after one time I do something. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. I'm not expected to know things. <laughs> So I'm going to go up here and name the name tag and then come back down. Okay, so as if you go down the hallway, you can probably notice some construction. Uh, okay. Where? If you go just outside the doors. Like past Cookie Monster? Or? No, no, no. Go back. Oh. There we go. And you go off in there. There you go. In here? Mm -hmm. I'm actually, for the first time, I'm actually using piston doors. Wow. And I'm trying to remember how to redstone again so mm -hmm. I can, can I actually do it. All right, I got the name tag. I can do this now. Oh, hey, monster. Buddy. All right. Dunzo. All right, there you go. No, come here, come here, come here. There we go. Did it work? Oh, look yeah. at him. What is his name? Well, wait, he, he got to stop flapping so people can read his name. Oh, what? Man? Oh, yeah. Man the bat. Man bat. No. Oh, Batman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a man bat as well. Darn it. Why does there have to be so many? <laughs> but man bat is a villain and Batman is, is obviously the hero. All right. Now, uh, I will give you a dollar. Do you stream? Sometimes. I'll give you a dollar in your next stream if you can find that bat again. <laughs> oh, God, no. 
There it is. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wow, that was hard, actually. <laughs> that was the Flying best around. dollar you ever earned. <laughs> that was the best dollar I ever earned. Um, <laughs> actually, that's a great. That would be a great game to yeah. actually try to like put a name tag on a bunch of bats, and you have to kill the bats with name tags on it. <laughs> mm, there you go, High Pixel. Your next bat name. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I don't know why, but it nothing seems to spawn in here now. Um but over here, this little area, we got a lever, so it actually pulls pistons back and lets some light in there. Oh. That way they despawn, it's not as hard. Things can still spawn in there. Um and I, I, I think I've thought of a way that I can actually fix that, but this is good good enough for now. So nothing. what is what is your ultimate purpose for this room? Uh, it's one of those first things that I've ever built in Minecraft type thing. Yeah. Like, I, in every build I ever do, I always do one of these just because it's kind of something I always like to do. And I, I, I need to make invisibility potions, and it's actually kind of creepy if you drink an invisibility potion with no armor and no nothing, mm -hmm. and you're in there and you're trying not to bump into anything. Wow. It's... It, it gets kind of crazy. I don't know. Maybe it's a weird fetish. <laughs> is, of that, is that like so that you don't like you have to get a, a rush from it? Otherwise, you're just going to like turn to cocaine or something. Yeah. You know, turn to drugs. <laughs> yeah. We don't want that. So I got to I got to find things to, to ease my uh, anxiety. I, and <laughs> I got to see you like after a hard day's work, you just come in here and you're like, all right, it's time for me <laughs> to just walk in here. Come here. Take me. Take me. <laughs> Just I am thinking about trying to make. Day. I'm trying to make it like a contest, like trying to figure out how we can do something to actually put this room to good use. <laughs> I haven't figured anything out yet, but <laughs> it'll come to you, man. Don't worry. It will. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Work um, hard on it. So, is this your strip mine just down here? Yep, that's cool. And I figured I would make it pretty. Why I do it, yeah. and then. Um, not only do I have this level, but I am also working... I haven't figured out the other side yet, but I'm also working on doing a upper level. Okay. So it kind of hits all levels of where diamonds spawn in. So. Right. Very cool. M more work than you need, but, you yeah. know, what are you going to do on a server? But that's what... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what being on a server is all about. Excessive building. Excessive building and mining. Yep. I still haven't gotten, like stack of block a uh, gold or diamond blocks yet so you know haven't reached my <laughs> speaking speaking of uh excessive mining i just what like literally like an hour ago watched the last uh mindless mining yeah you talked about like console stuff mm -hmm. and uh was it you that brought up chips challenge yeah the yeah that was one of the first games i ever played on a pc Dude, like, that that was like my childhood yeah like what was it it was like Windows, Windows. I think we had Windows 95. Or 95. 95, that's what it was. Yeah. It was like the first home computer I ever seen in my life. Yep. And it was on my grandma's counter. And we had <laughs> chi We had that. And then we had some, uh, what was it? It was uh, the skiing game. What is it called? Oh, yeah. Ski. For like, wasn't it just called Ski? I guess so. I actually found ski a free newer or? version. Yeah. And I could never win because the stupid snow monster would eat me. Yeah, he just come out of nowhere. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Like you just decide your point, game is just, over. Zoom. And I never figured out how to. Well, I think I did beat it once. I can't remember, but it's kind of crazy. Yeah, wh the, the I think the first computer game I ever played was Brick on like the original Macintosh. Mm, mm -hmm. Um, but then like the first game that I really got into. Uh, my brother and I would go to Walmart and we would buy these like six packs of like Lucas Arts demo CDs, hmm. and it would have like The Dig and uh, Indiana Jones and uh, Maniac Mansion, Day of the Tentacle, like just random like Lucas Arts games, and they would all be demos. And then we would ask for those games for Christmas, like if we saw one that we liked. And the one that I played forever was Rebel Assault Two. Hmm. Do you ever play that? See, I never played that. The only other game, let's see, there was a hunting game that they found that they bought. Um, I'm trying to remember because we, because I mean, I played the Sega. Uh huh. 
Sega Genesis, and then we got into 64. So that was really gaming for us. We didn't really game on the computer. Yeah, uh, but same here. we did have a couple games that we did play on the computer, which I'm trying to remember. There was uh, like a G9 or something. I cannot remember what it was called, but it was like a mech type game. Huh. And we would, you would have your mech and you'd go on missions. And it, it was like one of the coolest games I've ever seen on the computer. That's amazing. Yeah, Sega Genesis was the first console we ever owned. Mm-hmm. My parents were vastly opposed to uh, us owning video games for the longest time. And I, my grandparents actually broke them down. They were like, listen, you're going to make your children happy by buying them a video game system. <laughs> you should probably just do it. And so we got a Sega Genesis with uh, Cool Spot. Did you ever play that game? No. Oh no, my gosh. It was the 7-Up guy. Oh, really? Okay, so I remember I remember seeing like we didn't have we didn't have it for the Sega Genesis too long. Oh, uh, okay. We played we played a couple uh what was it? We played a couple like Bart Simpson. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, we played Road Rage. Or Road oh Rash. yeah, dude. That was a good one. Yeah. Uh, we had Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. Yep, Sonic 2 was another original one that we had. Um and we kind of I mean, I I kind of remember some of the games we would play. Um, but I really remember when we got the Nintendo 64. See, I never, I never got the Nintendo 64. Uh, we bought a PlayStation. Oh. Uh, me and my brother parked cars for a county fair for one mm-hmm. summer and saved up enough money to buy a PlayStation. And then the Nintendo 64 came out and I was like, son of a no. <laughs> <laughs> and so our cousin got one and he would bring it over all the time. We play, uh, we play clay fighter 63 and a third, and uh star fox and turok were like the big ones that we'd always play see that see i feel like i was always on the opposite side of a lot of people because i played mystery maker mystery maker oh it was a really good game i really liked it and i i always feel like it's one of those underrated games that no one really thinks about even though there is there is actually speed runners people do speed run the game yeah which at least makes me happy that the fact that it's in the speed running community yeah um, i haven't watched it all um because i mean it's it's not like a extremely hard game to do um but it is i i enjoyed playing it as a kid yeah kind of um, I'm just digging I away. I don't know how far back you're wanting this I to go. I don't even know how far back I want to go. Okay. Because I do know that this room's going to have where we make potions. Okay. Making potions. Um, kind of like what the battle boob area is. Uh-huh. That we can have chests and we got to figure out like limited amount of things that you can have while you're in the dark room. Okay. So it's going to be, I think the dark room's if it's going to be any type of challenge, it's going to be like a timed or like how long you can stay in there without dying type thing with so many, you know, with maybe just leather or no armor whatsoever or something like that. Yeah. I'm wondering though, uh, so you said like nothing was spawning in there once you're, once you've killed everything. It's kind of weird because sometimes it's like... If you walk away, if we go down here, if we just get out of the loading zone. Actually, I need to turn my rendering distance down because I will have it loaded for a while. And then we walk away. Hopefully, I don't know how long it'll take for it to... Mobs unload after a certain distance, right? Right. So... And we kind of stay here a while. Do, 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 And then you go back. Sometimes it can be full and sometimes it won't. Yeah, I think... And it does depend on the time of day, too. That's true. Because I guess if it's nighttime, then you're sharing spawn, like, viable spawn locations with... So, yeah, it didn't really do do too much. Um, I just remember when it was in my single-player world, if I despawned the area and I came back in... It would, it would have a lot in there. Well, and I um, think if you're too close, they won't spawn either, right? I don't know. I don't know. I, I really, I, sometimes I feel that way, and then sometimes I get, like, spikes where they, like, just load in. Yeah. So I don't necessarily Oh, wow, there was works. one. Wow. Yeah. Like, ten of them just spawned. And sometimes there'll be a bunch of creepers and a bunch of zombies or some zombies and some 
I mean, you never know what spawns in there, but it's hard to figure out. Um, I don't know. I still got. I got to look into it. I got to figure it out. It's that's crazy. But if we can figure it out and we get enough in there, because they won't despawn if you're in in the area, right? So if like if we want to do something, we can get it to load in, have someone stay there, and then we can start something. Because it won't be easy unless it's all loaded and. And if actually we could find a, I know where a spider spawner is, but I mean, that's not really terribly difficult. Right. Um, if we could find like a close group of spawners, we can make like a battle dome or a yeah. battle area and, and just set up like river, you know, flowing them in and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I always liked, I just, I always like building this. I think, uh, do you watch Etho? Um, I know of Etho. I don't really watch. I don't get an opportunity to watch too many people. This was a, this was a while ago. He did something similar to this, and he had. I think he had. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he had like basically just a room like this that would collect them, and mm-hmm. then uh, using different tactics depending on the mob, like cats for creepers, dogs for skeletons, that would usher them into a stream, and then they would all fall into the stream and just collect in this room, and then he would let them loose. So that'd be nice. That'd be hard though. Yeah. I mean, we'd have to, we'd have to find the spawners to do that. Well, it's, it's not, uh, it's not spawners. It's just a dark room like this. Oh, so it's just, it's all spawnable area. And then he would use like dogs to chase the skeletons into the water and cats to chase the creepers into the water. Oh, that's right. And villagers to attract the zombies, stuff like that. Oh, uh, I might be able to do it. It's getting pretty full now. Yeah, slowly. it is. But I do, I do get like, like you see the chain mail. Yeah. I do. I'm able to collect some chain mail and stuff through this, which I mean, a spawner is better, but yeah, I do get some random stuff, which is kind of nice. Yeah. That's cool. So, but if I, if you know what we might, I might play around with something like that, figure out what, what I could do. And even if I need to, I mean, this is really low. This area is really low. So if I even need to make rooms above, yeah, and filter them in somehow mm-hmm. to this one, we could do something like that. Yeah, and it wouldn't even have to be obsidian then because we are just filtering them in. Yeah. Have you seen the the spawn pads that people make where it's like a, a three by three, and then you put a half slab in the middle, so it's like. You have something like this, and then um, it's got, like, a ceiling. Um, So it's, like, a too high area, but then you put, um, pretend this is a half slab, put a half slab in the middle, so that way every mob can spawn on this except for a spider. And so that's, that's how he did it. He made a dark room with a bunch of these with water flowing around the sides of them. And so they would just fall off into the water. So would like the cat or something be on the half slab? The cat would be like off in the corner, kind of locked into a place where it couldn't move. And as okay. soon as the creeper spawns, it senses the cat and takes off in a direction. And then you just put like, uh, you put um, uh, trap doors around the edges and they can't detect that that's an that's a, uh, invisible block. And so then they just walk through it and fall. Whoops. Hmm. That'd be a good idea. So. Then I just thought of UHC. If you could find a cat and just tame it and follow you, you'd never have to worry about freaking creepers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for I real. I just thought of that. <laughs> yeah. So many things I still don't know. I just don't remember. <laughs> the more you know. The more you know. <laughs> well, this so, is a yeah. pretty sweet setup, dude. I really like the dark room. I was a little creeped out at first, I'll be honest, but now <laughs> I, I like the idea. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's just one of those things that you know I I used to I did when I first started, and it's something that I would like to turn into something, try to make it fun, and if I need to do something, build something different, I'm totally down with it. I just wanna I like fun things. Yeah. Woo woo fun. I like the battle boob. <laughs> battle boob. Yes, siree. All right. Well, I guess that's pretty much all we. Like, yeah. That's yeah. pretty much it. The end. Everyone the go end. away now. Go. <laughs> Leave go me and Huck sip, to our dark room. Go sip tea and 
I don't know. I was thinking of British things to do. But I've, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Sip your tea, your chocolate. And have, say cheerio. And cheerio. <laughs> Good day, mate. Good day, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you didn't enjoy this episode. Oh, and make sure you check out Voltron's channel. Yes. Give him love. Yes. And subscriptions and comments and and things. Yes. Yeah. So. And check out Huck. He's a nice guy. I like I him try. so far. I try. I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm still a Minecraft noob, but whatevs. Whatevs. Sweet, dude. See? See you guys. Bye. Bye.